Here's a quick video on how to change the needles on your serger machine, Juki MO644D. After you unthread your machine, make sure that it is turned off and unplugged. You're gonna um, need to open it up. Make sure that your needles are all the way up and that you move the knife out of the way. You're going to need two tools, a small screwdriver and this needle holder. And um, the tools should have come with your machine. I have misplaced mine, um, so I've had to buy new ones and you can find them at your local sewing machine stores or Joann's Hobby Lobby. And of course, you're gonna need the new needles that you're going to um, be replacing the old ones with. So, I'm. I'm going to use the oh you need your machine uses your typical home sewing machine needles which have a flat back side and I'll refer to that the importance of that in the video so you're going to take your needle holder and I'm gonna change the right needle first it doesn't matter which one you do first so you're gonna put your needle through the hole and slide it up and this tool helps to, to make sure that the needle doesn't fall through your machine. You're going to take your screw and you're going to loosen the screw to the left. And as you're unscrewing, you wanna um, gently wiggle your needle out until it falls into your needle holder and you bring it out and you put in to the needle holder your new needle. You want to make sure that the flat side of the needle is facing away from you. And you're going to go ahead and gently stick that back in, making sure that it's seated all the way up. Make sure you're holding that tightly as you screw to the right to secure the needle in place. And then you gently slide your needle holder down. And you do the same with the left needle. Now after you've changed your needles and made sure that they are securely seated in there, you're going to thread your machine remembering to bring your knife down and uh, go ahead and run a, sca a scrap of fabric. If you notice that your threads are breaking or the stitches aren't um, being properly made, it usually means that your needles are loose or that they're not seated all the way up. It could also be that you didn't thread your machine properly. So go ahead and run through that one more time, um, paying attention to that the needles are seated up all the way and that you're threading your machine properly.